Hey folks, and welcome back to the You Want Pizzazz channel. Today we're going to talk about an After Effects plugin that has made motion graphics a lot quicker and a lot easier to use. Currently I'm working with a client that requires really fast turnarounds. This plugin has been a game changer for me. If you want to become faster in After Effects and have an easier experience in After Effects, this is the tutorial for you. The first thing I want you to do is to go to this link. It's in the description below and I want you to download the Animation Composer 3 plugin. It's by Mr. Horse. It's a really awesome plugin so you can download for Mac or for Windows. Okay, once you've downloaded that, we're going to go ahead and activate it in After Effects. So if you don't see it in here, I would recommend going to Window, Animation Composer, and just making sure that this is checked off here. Great, so let's dive into it. So what does Animation Composer do? Well, it comes with a preset list of effects, transitions for text and graphics, and it's just awesome what you can do with it. The first thing I wanted to go through is the transitions for graphics. So if we open up starter presets, we're just going to work in 2D today. And let's play around with these different effects. I'm going to select the layer that I want animated. And let's try this first one. So if I click it, bounce scale from anchor point, you'll see that it previews here what it little look like. I'm going to click animate in. Now, if this layer was shorter, and I'll just cut this right here, um, we can have it animate out as well. So you just hit animate out, or you can hit animate both. And it'll animate in. And then it'll animate out. And you can change the length of these animations by just dragging these keyframes around. If I drag them in, it should be a lot longer. So you can play around with it like that. And if I wanted to remove these, I would just hit remove, remove, remove on the animation composer menu there. Um, so let's see what else they have. So ease position in, this one's pretty nifty. Let's have it go in from the right. We're just clicking buttons here, you know? We're not creating these from scratch, and I'm not undermining the importance of creating things from scratch because I think you should learn how to do it. Um, but when you're working on projects that require quick turnarounds, this is such a game changer when you wanna just add a little pizzazz to a graphic. You can just click a button and it'll look great. Okay, so that's the 2D layer. So those are all just graphic effects. There's a whole bunch of transitions for text as well, and I'm really impressed with it. So let's start with this layer. So make sure the layer is selected. Um, you can animate by characters, words, or lines. Let's start with characters. So this will work if it's on a text layer. So you can see that there's just a huge variety of um, different effects you can add. If we wanted to do text with a couple of different lines, I'm just going to use this one. There's an option for that, so animate lines. So let's see what we got here. Okay, this one's kind of neat. Nice. That was graphics and text. There's also a whole bunch of pre-made graphics. You can find it in starter pre-comps, just right here that, that they created. So we have an arrow. Circles. Lines. Little particle explosions. There's a bunch of different social media stuff. So if you have a YouTube account, you can do the like button, dislike button, um, notification bell, lower thirds, subscribe. All of that's pre-made. And just regular text boxes as well, which you can use for lower thirds. Or titles. There are transitions, which are pretty neat as well. And 
sound effects. Again, this is a really awesome plugin. It is 100% free. And I just think it is a game changer in terms of just speeding up your workflow. Or if you're just lazy, sometimes you don't really want to create these effects from scratch. I know what that's like. So if you can just do it with a click of a button, why not? Why not do it? Anyways, I hope you try out this plugin. And if you do, please let me know what you think in the comments below. I hope you like it as much as I do. Thanks so much for watching folks and have a great rest of your day.